Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can use Nmap to do service and aversion detection. When performing a version scan, Nmap sends a series of probes, each of which is assigned a rarity value between 1 and 9. The lower numbered probes are effective against a wide variety of common services, while the higher numbered ones are rarely useful. The intensity level specifies which probes should be applied. The higher the number, the more likely the service will be correctly identified. However, high intensity scans take longer. In our first example, we're going to use the dash small letter S capital V to detect what version of the service is running on our target machine. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now you have to remember that by default, the intensity is going to be set to 7. And in just a moment, my scan comes back and you can see from the results, it has identified the following services and their version running on the target. In our next example, I'm going to use the dash S small letter V and I'm going to increase the intensity so that I can ensure that the correctness of the results is what I think it should be. So I've typed in nmap space dash small letter s capital V, give it a space. Now this is where I increase the intensity by adding the switch dash dash version dash intensity, give it a space, followed by the number of the intensity that I want to use. And again, the intensity runs from 0 through 9 with 7 being the default. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So because of the intensity value that was increased, the results take a little longer to come back. I don't see much difference in the results as far as correctness, but if I was working on a network where I was unsure of the quality of the network, I might do this. So if you're concerned about the quality of your correctness in the version scan, then you want to go ahead and use a little bit more intensity. In this example, we're going to type in nmap, give it a space, dash small letter s, capital V, give it a space, dash dash version, dash all. So this is going to be cranked up to an intensity level of 9. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And so you can see from the results that this scan took 43.67 seconds as opposed to the 13 seconds that the previous scan took. If we're concerned with OS detection, and we also want to know the version of the service that is running on the target, we can use the dash capital A. Now this is something you might actually see on one of your exams. So on the exam you might be asked, which of the following Nmap commands would you use to detect the operating system, and you want to identify the version of a particular application that is running on the server. That's not going to work with just the dash capital O. For that, you're going to need the dash capital A. The dash capital A enables OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and it does a trace route. But that's what's going to give you the results that you want if you're looking at detecting the OS, the service, and the version. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And so you can see that the dash capital letter A provides a lot more information when it returns results than just using the dash small letter S capital V. In this case, I'm looking at the operating system, and I've also identified the services and what version of service is running on the target. So if you need to validate a particular service and the version of that service, you would use the dash small letter S capital V command. So if you had scan results that were telling you that the service is running on a particular target, had some newly released CVEs that you needed to verify, then you could run the dash small letter S capital V to ensure that that is actually the case. And so in this short video presentation, we got to see how we can use Nmap to perform a service and version detection scan on our network. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.